Hi guys, one more uh, unusual uh, Soviet item for you today. I believe we have here a part of uh, electromechanical computer or servo control at least from a Russian missile. It is definitely uh, Soviet made and uh, according to this uh, circular shape here I believe it is uh, made for fitting in a missile fuselage. So we have a model number here and a serial number and written. What do we have on this piece? So it is an aluminum piece, back plane here. We have four units and resistors. So this resistor you can see they are glued with very hard epoxy. Standoff here, st uh, terminals here. Even the wire here is uh, captured in epoxy, and it is really, really hard epoxy. So we have on this side two set of uh, dual uh, poten precision potentiometers. Here is one uh, manufacturer plate for you, date code 1982. They are 10 kilo ohms, 5%. And you can see there is a little dial at the back side, letting you know uh, how much is, uh, which setting it is. So they are very expensive, uh, high precision potentiometers. Look, there is even a seal, a seal over the screw here. And they have their own manufacturer plate with a serial number and so on. Here we have a motor, electrical motor, and this must be a synchro transmitter or synchro resolver. So these two units can be removed easily. If I just do this screw, I can lift the motor. You can see small. Here. I can power it, it, uh, it, it, uh, it turns, but my power supply is not strong enough, it seems to make it turn the whole assembly. However, if I move this gear here, you can see the indicators are moving on the potentiometers here. Okay. So I don't think it would be interesting to remove the synchro transmitter at this uh, part side. But it may be interesting to try to remove this back plate. I hope I will be able to put it back in place after because we have probably here uh, ball bearings all aligned with these uh, plates. So in fact if I cannot reassemble it, it is not really uh, a big uh, deal because I can keep it in two parts. It is not uh, going to be used anytime soon, anyway. So it is a nice little uh, piece, I wish I had the complete uh, unit, of course, with matching electronics, but as it looks, uh, it seems to be from uh, the commission the my sign, of course, you can't have a one thing. And this screw is a little hard to remove. Murphy is low, as always, the last screw is the more difficult one. I will uh, probably replace it with another one. I have a stock of Russian screws. So now I should be able to lift this part. I guess, yes. So as you can see, we have uh, we have a set of. Uh, I did just ruin the alignment, by the way. So we have a set of gears, very high uh, demultiplication here, it seems. So this is turning at the highest uh, speed, probably small uh, ball bearings. 
Okay, excuse me. So, as I was saying, yes, so here is the uh, this setup. Quite you can see on this uh, rear there is some kind of uh, uh, springs, so you know, they must uh, in fact uh, set the gears in a way they are uh, have some uh, torque against the next one, something like this. Here you have a screws for this uh, terminal, terminal post. And uh, yes, so you can see this, uh, this is die cast. Now I will try to put back it in place. I have a feeling it will be almost impossible to do. Because you need to align precisely all the bearings. Yes, it is almost good, but not completely as you can see. There is always one bearing that will not uh, align properly, it seems. So it will require some uh, some work, or maybe I can undo all of them. Oh, in fact, here, look, I have this uh, ball bearing which is coming off. So maybe I can put this back in place here. And I need to realign this one properly, like so. Now I can try again. So if I remember correctly, I did already open it one time, and it was quite a battle to put this back in place. So uh, it will need more uh, more tinkering around. For now, I hope you did enjoy this uh, little piece of uh, weird stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.